Good day team, Jeremy Britton, 24 hour wealth coach, down on the beach after my morning meditation. Sunrise just over there. And absolutely glorious down here on the beach. A few more people starting to join me, which is always good. Now I meditate down here on the beach every day, working on my mind, working on my mindset, working on being healthy, happy, in touch with my body. The mind-body connection is one that's very, very important. And of course, we've recently had the Olympics and you see these athletes who do some amazing, amazing things and setting world records all the time for strength and agility and speed. And um, it's interesting. Obviously, I'm, I'm not a big athlete. Um, I've decided to work on my mind because, no offence against the athletes, but once they're about 30 or so, they, set, they tend to slow down a little bit physically, whereas I think I can keep working on my mind for as long as while I'm alive. But of course, keeping the body healthy is very, very important part of keeping the mind healthy. When you look at the athletes, these guys who do amazing physical feats of strength and speed and agility, they tend to have incredible, incredible mindsets. You talk to them, interview these people, read their books, find out what pushes them to get up at four or five o'clock in the morning and swim three kilometers or do whatever they do. Interestingly, I can't remember the guy's name, but I believe it was in the men's 400 meters relay, there was a gentleman who actually broke his leg. He landed wrong, broke his tibia, continued to run the race. That shows incredible mindset, some would say an incredible stupidity, running on a broken leg, whereas most people wouldn't even limp on a broken leg. It's interesting, one of, the, um, one of the Olympic sponsors and one of the shoe manufacturers is ASICS. Um, ASICS ASIC make the running shoes, and a lot of people just look at that and think, oh, it's a cool name, um, but it's actually an acronym, a Latin acronym, Anima Senora in Corpora Seno, ASICS, is actually Latin for a clean mind in a healthy body. So check that one out, look it up. It's actually the family motto, I believe, for the shoe manufacturer, clean mind in a healthy body, because they realized even back then, a couple of hundred years ago, that it's very important to have a balance between the mindset and the physical health. There's many, many books on dieting and how to lose weight. There's not too many books on nutrition. And you have to really seek to find people who have quit off drugs. Um, Alessandra Rain was a lady I interviewed yesterday on the Wealth Boomerang Show who was on a thousand pills a month for 10 years after a car accident. She was on antidepressants as well as painkillers. Managed to get herself off those and she now looks better at 55 than she did at 45. Of course the documentary Fat, Sick and Nearly Dead teaches you how to get off the junk food and onto the real food. And there's some people who are very close to me who know that I'm a little bit weird. How do I keep a sound mind, healthy mind in a healthy body? Well, I don't eat crap for a start. Um, about 10 years ago after my heart attack, I gave up red meat and I gave up dairy. I watch what I put into my body. And more recently, I've, I've started to watch what I put on top of my body. So if you break into my house and you search for, for artificial products, you'll find very interesting, how do I keep a clean mind in a healthy body? Well, secret is, I actually eat my hair gel. I eat my hair gel, I eat my shampoo, and I eat my conditioner. I actually also eat my body wash. It's very interesting, I make those things myself. And um, natural oils, natural ingredients, and um, food, food products, food grade products that I can actually put into my mouth, and if I'm having any medical issues, I can actually take them internally as a supplement and I can also put them on my body. Don't want to have any toxic buildup because the skin is like a giant sponge. The skin is as absorbent as your tongue. And anything that you're putting onto your skin, onto your head, onto your face, makeup, whatever, will actually be absorbed into your body. Sometimes this can lead to toxic buildup if you're using products like the Romans used to use um, lead, lead-based pigments in their makeups, which will eventually come through your face and poisons the system. And moisturizers, that sort of stuff. I can eat my own moisturizer. Fabulous stuff. How do you keep a clean mind in a healthy body? Natural foods as much as possible. Go for the organic or the homegrown alternative. 
avoid anything with numbers and things that you don't know what it is because you've got no idea what the long-term effects are on your body. Just science says it's okay, but they haven't tested it over a lifetime, including all of the, all of the artificial chemicals building up in your body. Yes, 451 might be okay, but what if you take it with 621, 459 and 323? Who knows? Those things, those kind of numbers should be on a car. They should not be on the food you eat or the things that you put on your body. Stay healthy inside and out. Work on your body, work on your mindset, and I'll talk to you soon. Down on the beach or at 24hourwealthcoach.com.